What up guys, how's it going? This is Bharat here. I am back with a new widget for this week. It's called as Fitted Box widget. We're going to be talking about in brief and understand how it is useful in your Flutter application. Without any further ado, let's begin. Starting out with what Fitted Box widget are, it is actually very, very useful in order to help you in scaling up or scaling down your uh, widgets in dynamically when there is a lot of dynamic stuff going on. I was actually thinking of what is the perfect example to give you in order to understand fitted box and the first it's first example application that you can think about is Instagram. So when there's an Instagram, you upload a profile picture, you upload a photo, it always fits to this some certain height and width depending on what the parent or child is. So that is how the fitted box is useful. You are going to use fitted box to make sure that some widget that is not fixing to its parent is actually say this is the child and this is the parent. If you want this child to fix, fit inside the parent, you're going to actually do use this widget fitted box and make sure that the child fits inside the parent. And that is what the main use case of fitted box is and there is nothing else other than this. We're going to be talking about how to use this fitted box uh, in properly and also understand what are the two different properties that fitted box widget has. You can actually use fitted box using the class fitted box itself. Like I said, it's very, very useful in order to make sure that your container, child container fits inside a parent container and also it's very helpful in case of dynamic images in particular and also dynamic text that are actually longer than your uh, width of the screen or height of the screen. So we're going to be talking about that in detail. So I will directly go ahead and go to the code, boilerplate code that I already written. So we're going to be writing some very simple uh, code here. We're going to talk about, you must, have, you must be already knowing about list view widgets. We're going to be making use of them here. In this example, we we'll just create a basic two widgets. For example, let, let me have a one one row and another row. Maybe uh, we can see where we can go from there. We can directly go create a row. I will create another children. I'll call this a, con I'll have a container. It's going to have a maybe a image. I don't know image of. Uh, let me use a network image. I need to go search for an image. Let me go and search for some images. I don't know images. Uh, please do not copyright me. Please do not hit me with the copyright. I want to use something that I find here. Copy image address. Go in. Paste it here. Great job. Alright, so this is my first row of items that I have here. I'm gonna actually go in and create another and put all of this inside the container. My child is going to be this one. And I'm gonna create another container. So I'm gonna create another container. And I'm just gonna hold the text. Sample to check one to understand how good a picture box. Okay, let me let me save this and run the application. Alright, so the application is up and running. As you can see, it is giving me a weird image uh, overflow here. What is really happening is that the image is actually loaded, but there's another text content that is going this way. So when it goes in a horizontal manner, it's actually overflowing the whatever viewport that we have that what of the user is going to see is overflowing that uh, in order to do we, we cannot actually go in and contain saying that only this many words should be there or we cannot actually force image to actually always be with certain height of image height and width so instead of doing that we can actually use this widget called as a fitted box widget again you can easily directly go in and call a fitted box here well, you have to understand that i'm actually doing it inside the list view there's a container I have to use the fitted box for that. So fitted box, I'm going to be using that here. I'm going to call this okay. So this is the magic that the fitted box is going to do. It's actually automatically going to scale down or scale up your image in such a way that it is it should always fit your parent so you can see that in action right now you see the difference so it is actually containing both your text and your image 
into the viewport that is actually available for the user so if there is some say there is some uh, bigger text that is coming up it can actually scale down and pull it down in such a way that it is going to fit where the user is going to see all right, so jumping back here, we have two important properties that we've been talking about. One is the fit property and another is an alignment property. You can directly go in and check what it is. So fit property is going to directly call a box fit on it. So box fit is going to say it should either be contained or it should be covered. It should be scaled down. There are a lot of properties that you can use with the fitted box. You can say cover. So it will actually cover the entire thing but it will just be covered, it, it will not be contained. Whatever is actually available, it will be shown to the user. Uh, by default, it's going to be contained, meaning that everything that is actually available, it's going to contain in whatever space that is there. There are a lot of things that are available, you can check that. It's fill height, fill width, fill scale down, and yeah, there are a lot of things you can do scale down. I also do want to uh, scale down whatever is actually available to what the one size that the user is going to see. So if you want to see understand these things in uh, detail, you can actually go. I'm going to just cut down the word to just scale. As you will see, it is actually going to impact the entire flow of the fitted box. You will see the difference. So whatever is the image is going to be scaled depending on whatever size the text is going to hold. So if you are saying it's always scaled down, it is always make sure that the image the one one widget that we have is a text widget which is going to be shown to the user always and we're scaling down whatever is not there which me which is in this case the image which is going to be very large for the user to see it's scaled down to fit whatever uh, remaining space is there in the fitted box so that is what is the use of fit attribute here the second attribute is going to be the alignment attribute as you might have guessed by now it is going to say either align it to the left or align it to the right whatever you want to want it to do so, so but primarily what alignment is going to do is actually you can make it make sure that it goes to the left it goes to the right or it stays as the center you can use fitted box in a lot of scenarios and fitted box can be even part of a child of a important parent widget say for example row can have a fitted box and that will actually primarily use the alignment at fit uh, in particular uh, i would also like to show you another important thing so for example say there is a child inside the fitted box and this child inside the fitted box is going to have a specific height and width only meaning that it cannot scale or it cannot scale down to a size that is actually controlled by the fitted box for example let me we have a widget here which is an image widget let us go in and try to control the width so with i'll say uh, let, let, let it be 250 point zero and height be 250.0 let's make it 25 and 25 right okay so we control the child the child is going to be only 25 25 by 25 so what this fitted box is going to do is not going to scale the child more than 25 that is the primary part of it box it's not going to force a child to go more than 25 it's always going to make sure that whatever it is that's whatever the param parameter the child has it is going to follow that but in addition to that, whatever whatever the other other widgets that are part of the fitted box, it fits into the viewport. So you can see that in action. I'll just run the application. Let's see how it actually turns out. Yeah, the image is actually a bigger image right now. We are going to see. Like you can see, it's, it's, it's actually made it in such a way that it is fitting inside the viewport of the user. So I can go in and actually do uh, 250. 250. I can actually make sure that it does not scale more than 250. We can see that in action as well. That's it. So it has actually put it to the center. Fitted box is putting it to the center, and everything in the viewport is seen. Okay. Next thing that you should be trying is actually increasing the size of the text and seeing what actually happens. Let's see sample text widget to understand fitted box. Which So, from my understanding, you may be very aware of what should be happening right now. The image is not going to scale. It is not going to it is not going to scale after a certain point at all. It is always going to be the. Did you see the difference? It is not going to push you to a specific size more than two fifty. 
but it will cut down the size in order to make sure that the text fits in. That is the primary use of uh, the fitted box. It is always going to make sure since I've used a uh, scale down here, I can actually go for cover and it'll just cover whatever is actually available for the user to see. And that is primarily two important properties that the fitted box can have. All right guys, I hope you had a good understanding of what the fitted box widget does in Flutter. It is a very useful handy widget in order to create when you are using dynamic uh, when you are actually applying this to a dynamic widget like images or text from the server. I hope you like this video. If you like, do not forget to give a like and share it with your friends. And of, I'm always available for comments. You can put anything you have, a query, any queries that you have in the comment section below. And also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that I can get you lots of Flutter content in the coming weeks. That's it from me. Have a good day.